Hey guys, I wanted to show you how the uh, reboot procedure works in MIP units. So over here, I have a display from MIP2 unit, but I believe this is the same procedure for most of the MIPs, which have separate mine unit and separate display. And maybe you know that if you press and hold over here for about 10 seconds, your mine unit will reboot. If I flip the display to the other, side you can see there are two connectors this is um, high uh, speed data or lvds uh, or facra connector um, there are different names depending on which uh, which level of the communication you want to describe and this is uh, the 12 pin connector that powers the device um, you can see the pin 1 over here is 12 volts pin 7 is ground and in the in this in this 12 uh, pin connector i believe six pins are actually used most uh, most likely so we have power over here i believe we have can bus low and high on two pins and we have two reset pins and this cable is connected to pin number 5 which is the zr reboot or zr reset um, line which is connected to quad lock in mip unit so over here Let's connect the probe to this pin number five. Let's take this and connect it to ground. I have my scope over here. And uh, right now I will show you what will happen if I press and hold over here on the uh, volume control knob. So let's wait about 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, we should see a little needle on the scope. Oh. Here it is. So this is like five volts, I believe. So the standard normal value is ground and it was uh, for a brief second, it was at a high level at five volts, I believe. So uh, what this means that, what this means is uh, that the display, either though if it has communication over CAN bus with the mine unit, it will not send a CAN bus request to reboot the mine unit. Well. Uh, actually, this is a very good idea since you want to reboot the mine unit. Most likely there's something wrong with it. With it. Maybe the system is stuck. Maybe the system is not loading. And maybe the CAN bus communication is not working yet or will not work uh, at all because the unit is damaged. That's why there um, there's a need for another way to reboot the mine unit without um, removing the power just from the display. So this is why there's a separate line to reboot the unit. Okay, so that's it.